Do you know what foods can slow down the absorption of amlodipine? Amlodipine, also known by the brand name Norvasc, is a medication often prescribed for conditions like high blood pressure and angina, a chest pain that's caused by reduced blood flow to the heart. It's a type of drug known as a calcium channel blocker, which works by relaxing the blood vessels, thus allowing blood to flow more easily. Amlodipine comes in three different dosages, 10 mg, 5 mg, and 2.5 mg. Depending on your specific health condition and your body's response, your doctor will prescribe the dosage that's right for you. But here's the thing, certain foods can interact with amlodipine and slow down its absorption in your body. And when that happens, the drug might not work as effectively as it should. So let's dive into the top 10 foods you should avoid while taking amlodipine. Are you ready? Let's get started. The first five foods on our list might surprise you. Allow me to introduce you to the first food that could slow down the absorption of amlodipine, grapefruit. Yes, this citrus fruit is known to interfere with various medications, including amlodipine. Its compounds can inhibit the enzymes that metabolize this drug, causing your body to absorb it more slowly and potentially increasing its side effects. Next, let's talk about spinach. This leafy green is high in fiber, which can slow down the rate at which your body absorbs amlodipine. While fiber is good for your overall health, if you're taking amlodipine, you might want to keep an eye on your spinach intake. The third food on our list is broccoli. Just like spinach, broccoli is a high fiber food that can slow down the absorption of amlodipine. This doesn't mean you should stop eating these healthy greens, but timing is key. Try to avoid eating these foods close to the time you take your medication. Moving on, we have the humble potato. Potatoes, especially when eaten with their skin, are another high-fiber food that can affect how quickly amlodipine is absorbed into your system. So, if you're a fan of baked potatoes or fries, you might want to consider your timing when taking your medication. Last but not least, we have whole grains. Whole grains like brown rice and oats are excellent sources of fiber. They can slow down the absorption of amlodipine, potentially affecting its efficacy. So, while whole grains are an important part of a balanced diet, if you're taking amlodipine, you might want to think about when you're eating these foods. Remember, the goal isn't to eliminate these foods from your diet, but to be mindful of when you eat them in relation to when you take your amlodipine. This way, you can enjoy these nutritious foods while ensuring your medication works as effectively as possible. Stay tuned for the rest of the list. The remaining foods on our list are just as important to avoid. First up, we have grapefruit and grapefruit juice. These citrus delights can interfere with the enzymes that break down amlodipine in your body. This means that the drug can build up in your system, increasing the risk of side effects. Next, we have high fiber foods like whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. While these are generally healthy choices, they can slow down the absorption of this medication. This is because fiber can bind to the drug in your digestive tract making it harder for your body to absorb it. Third on our list are foods high in potassium, such as bananas, oranges, and spinach. Amlodipine can cause your body to retain potassium, and consuming too much of it can lead to hyperkalemia, a condition characterized by an excessive amount of potassium in your blood. Alcohol is next on the list. While it's not a food, it's crucial to mention. Alcohol can increase the blood pressure-lowering effects of amlodipine which can make you feel dizzy or even faint. It can also interfere with the rate at which your body metabolizes the drug, making it less effective. Finally, we have high-fat meals. These can slow down the absorption of amlodipine because they take longer to digest. This means that the drug might not be absorbed into your bloodstream as quickly as it should be, reducing its effectiveness. It's important to note that everyone's body reacts differently to different foods and medications, so these are general guidelines and not hard and fast rules. Always talk to your healthcare provider or a registered dietitian if you have specific dietary concerns related to your medication. Remember, it's not just about what you eat, but also how you consume amlodipine. It's not just food that can affect how amlodipine works in your body. Medications, much like everything else in life, come with certain rules of engagement, 
and amlodipine, an often prescribed medication for hypertension and angina, is no exception. One crucial factor lies in the consistency of your medication timings. Regularity is key. Imagine your body as a well-tuned orchestra, with amlodipine as one of the musicians. To create a harmonious symphony, all musicians must play in sync, and similarly, amlodipine works best when taken at the same time every day. This helps maintain a steady level of the medicine in your body, allowing it to work more effectively. Now, on to skipping doses. In a perfect world, we'd never forget to take our medication, but we're all human, and life can get in the way. However, when it comes to amlodipine, it's vital not to miss a dose. If you do forget, take it as soon as you remember, unless it's nearly time for your next dose. In that case, just skip the missed dose. Doubling up can lead to an overdose, and we certainly don't want that. Aside from consistent medication timings and not skipping doses, there are certain activities you should avoid while on amlodipine. For instance, avoid excessive consumption of grapefruit or grapefruit juice. Grapefruit can increase the amount of amlodipine in your bloodstream, potentially leading to more side effects. Another activity to avoid is abruptly stopping your medication. Always consult with your healthcare provider before making any changes to your medication regimen. Lastly, while amlodipine is generally well tolerated, it's crucial to remember that everyone's body reacts differently to medications. Therefore, it's essential to monitor your body and report any unusual symptoms to your healthcare provider. In conclusion, the key to successfully managing your health while on amlodipine is consistency, attentiveness, and communication with your healthcare provider. But what happens if you don't follow these guidelines? Well, that's a conversation for another scene. Stay tuned. Ignoring these guidelines can lead to unwanted side effects. As we delve deeper into the world of amlodipine, it's important to understand that while this medication can significantly improve cardiovascular health, it is not without potential side effects. Common side effects of amlodipine include swelling in the hands, feet, ankles or lower legs, known as edema. Some people may also experience dizziness or lightheadedness, particularly when standing up from a sitting or lying position. These side effects are usually mild and tend to lessen over time as your body adjusts to the medication. For those taking higher dosages, such as 10 mg, there may be an increased risk of more serious side effects. These can include rapid or irregular heartbeat, severe dizziness or fainting, and shortness of breath. If you experience any of these symptoms, it's crucial to seek immediate medical attention. On the lower end of the dosage spectrum, at 2.5 mg, side effects tend to be less severe, but can still cause discomfort. These might include mild dizziness, flushing, or a feeling of warmth under the skin. Remember, even at smaller dosages, it's important to monitor your body's response to the medication. Understanding these side effects is not meant to scare you, but rather, to equip you with the knowledge to recognize any potential issues early. The sooner you identify a problem, the sooner you and your doctor can address it, optimizing your treatment plan and ensuring your safety. Keep in mind that everyone's body responds differently to medication. You may experience side effects not listed here, or you may experience none at all. The key is to stay vigilant, listen to your body, and maintain open communication with your healthcare provider. In the end, amlodipine is a powerful tool in the fight against high blood pressure and heart disease. However, like any tool, it must be used responsibly and with care. Amlodipine can be a lifesaver, but only if used correctly. Remember the goal is not just to live, but to live well. And understanding the potential side effects of your medication is a crucial step in that journey. It's clear that what you eat and how you take amlodipine can have a significant impact. So, let's quickly recap what we've learned today. The top 10 foods to avoid to slow down amlodipine absorption include grapefruit, salt, alcohol, caffeine, high potassium foods, high fiber foods, high fat foods, processed foods, sugary foods, and spicy foods. In terms of the do's and don'ts of amlodipine use, remember to take your medication as directed by your doctor, avoid skipping doses, and don't abruptly discontinue the medication. As for side effects, 
It's essential to watch out for symptoms such as swelling in your hands, feet or ankles, lightheadedness, irregular heartbeat, chest pain, and severe nausea. Remember, your health is in your hands. Make informed decisions about your medication, and consult your doctor if you have any concerns or questions.